Hi, I'm Stu Maddox. I'm the director of Gen Silent, the movie about LGBT aging, and Real in the Closet, the movie about LGBT home movies that are being lost. Now I want to take you on a little bit different journey, but one that kind of parallels both of those. Queer ghost hunters hunting queer ghosts. I very clearly just saw something pass through there. Very clearly it was a like a white shadow that went past and there's nothing that could have done that. I have been following this real group of people as they go around to different prisons, institutions, theaters to find queer ghosts. And where you are it probably feels like eternity. Whether or not you believe this stuff, set that aside because Here's why it's really important to support this project. Why I'm on the back roads of Ohio for the last six months. It's because they're finding real queer history that has been lost. We would get stuck in prisons or stuck in insane asylums. And it's just something people have never thought about. You know, we hear about Stonewall, yay, that's the history I know. Without any, just it just doesn't enter their mind to think about the histories of you know, all of our community members before Stonewall. But then they take what they find in those old records and stories and try to make contact with those people from the past. And that really gets people connected to history in a fun way. I love all of this history. I never, I never liked history class, but I love, I like solving mysteries. Turning LGBT history into a mystery to be solved by contacting the people who lived it, making it a fascinating and funny web series because yes, it is bizarre looking and we are having fun with it. Nobody else is doing this. And it's hitting a chord with thousands of people. We had 2,000 subscribers before we even started episode one. What we want to do is to be able to make this a web series and show people what we're finding. That's why we're running a Kickstarter campaign, is to go in search of all these different places where there are probably queer ghosts around the country and around the world. This is a page of history that has been ripped out, and now we need to kind of like tape it back in. So please help us. This is going to be, I think, one of the best projects I've ever done. It's just the intersection of paranormal, queer stuff, history, it's just, all you have to say is queer ghost hunters.